Guys, you know the vibes, it's your boy Mikhail right? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to teach you how to increase your maximum bench press. So the reason why warming up is so important is to prevent injury. Also, is to get your body used to the movement. Get all the muscle fibers nice and warm, so you can perform, basically. I've come in some days and literally not been warm, the gym's freezing, I've not got enough clothes on. Try to skip my warm up and try and like kind of cheat and get there faster and your body just doesn't perform the same. So you want to go through the motions, nice and smooth, and you want to make sure you're doing just enough to make sure you're warm. Too much, you're going to exert yourself and you're going to affect your max lift. So, when I'm benching, the right way to bench and the way you get taught is to do a closed grip, nice and wide. But what I find, it puts a lot of stress on my front shelf, my front delts and I just don't feel like I can generate power from there. So what I do is I like to keep it nice and tight. I do a suicide grip, which I'll show you in a minute, and I tuck my elbows right in, which activates my lats. So it keeps me like an elastic band, nice and tight. So when I bring it down, I can explode back on the way out. If you ever look at power lifters, you'll see power lifters made a movement as short as possible. So when your arms are here, you think about it, it's a long way up. When your arms are here, and you're contracting everything, everything's nice and tight, and you're resting your elbows on your lats, the movement's nice and short. So I actually done six. Like I said, everything is feel, I just go by feel. Once you know your body, you've been training for such a long time, you kind of know where you feel. And to be honest with you, once I get to about 50, 60%, I know um, if I'm on for a big bench or not. You'll notice like when we're training sometimes, people have watched my stories and that before, my attitude will kind of change. Like when I get to like 50, 60%, and I either get more confident or probably less confident because I know like, yo, today is on. Not by, by going by how the body feels, like you've got to listen to the body for feedback. But yeah, that's a 60 kg for 10, and that's an 80 kg for 6. I'm now going to go up to two plates, going to do about five. I'm going for my max today, so although I can comfortably lift 100 kg off the bar, I've got Wills with me today, and Wills going to basically take the bar off each set. The reason why Wills taking the bar off for me is one, for me to preserve energy, and two, for me basically to mimic my max lift so every set i'm basically gonna take it off and bring it down as if it's my max so i'm basically conditioning and warming my body up and kind of tuning my body fine tuning my body for that big lift one more tip that's very important when you're taking the bar off i'm gonna just do a quick demo of this actually when you're taking the bar off it's important to make sure everything's tight as you're taking it off what i used to do which used to massively affect my max lift is i used to wait for somebody to lift the bar off lazily and then try and tighten up, stable myself and then bring it down. You want to do it all in one movement so as soon as that bar comes over to the top, my bar you can bring it down and press back up. So feet back, flat on the floor. Three, two, one, up, high. So basically that is how I'm a max to move. So every set now Tight, bang, I'm gonna be hitting it like in my max lift. As I said, I can take 100 kg off, no problem. But if I do, I'm exerting myself. If I'm going for a max lift, why do I want to exert myself, taking the bar off time and time and time again, four or five sets, and using, basically, like I said, the analogy of this is like a car with a full tank, some of that petrol that I need in a tank for my last lift. Hand spacing. What you'll find is you have two lines on the bar. I always try and have the outside of my hand on the inside line. That's the perfect width for me. Um, I suppose if you're a lot shorter than me, you'll have a lot shorter limbs, so I'll go further in. We don't really want to be going any wider than that, especially if you're trying to keep the movement um, nice and short. periods 
I don't count rest periods. Um, I just listen to my heart, my lungs, my breathing. Um, to put it plain and simple, we're not chaining our heart and lungs, we're trying to chain our muscle. So we want our muscle to fail first. So if we're still tired and still breathing really heavy and we go into a set and fail the set, we're not going to be certain that we failed because our muscles fatigued. We might be we might have failed because we was out of breath and our cardiovascular system wasn't strong enough. So wait until your heart rate comes down. Not too long. I'd aim for about one and a half to two minutes. But then again, it's difficult to say because when we get to our top end, we might need four minutes, five minutes rest, especially on something like deadlift and squats. We might need more rest and the body will stay warmer for longer because the set before was so exerting. They're swearing, bit of aggression, perfectly fine. As long as it's tailored, um, directed, I don't know what I'm on about. Let's just get the rep up. Let's go. because the muscle is like an elastic band. You think about when you get an old elastic band, pick it off the floor and you pull it, it will snap. We don't want that to happen to the muscle. So we want to keep the body nice and hydrated so it can flex. 200 kg, seventh set. If you need aids, wrist wraps or elbow wraps, please use them. This is how to increase your max bench press and we're about two, three sets away from the max today. So that was my final heavy set. Um, I failed today on 245 kg. Um, it's also very important to show your failures. Um, the benefits of this video going out with a failure of 245, I'm even now more, more motivated to get the 245. So I'll be looking back and hopefully five, six, seven months time, you know, I might potentially be doing one of these nice and clean, maybe two. Um, I did try 240 a few times, so I kind of exerted myself. I like the analogy that I used at the beginning of the video when I was talking about the petrol tank. The tank's now almost empty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop back down to around about 180. One more set to failure. And that's my um, bench press session over how to increase your max bench press. The last set is known as an AMRAP set. Um, AMRAP stands for as many reps as possible. That's it. Oh. Ah. That video um, helped you. Hope there's lots of information in it. Um, drop some comments. Let me know what you want to see next. Let me know how this video could be improved. Let me know if there's any information that I didn't explain to you. And I'll come back with another video. Like, subscribe, share. Also follow Will. 21 years old. Absolute beast. Um, Shouts out to Lee behind the camera. Let's get it. Peace. That's how you get home, mate.